So, uh, you guys read any books? I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> but if you could, what books would you like to read? Uh, all the Garfields. Ooh, who's solid? Every single Garfield. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Solid. The the the, the comic like um uh. uh what do they call them? Uh, omnibus. The Omnibus of Garfields? Yeah. Oh, God. It's just really fun watching a, a man suffer from serious depression. <laughs> that's like Garfield minus Garfield is really entertaining. Garfield stands Garfield. That's, that's the yeah. one. I read a lot of uh, Stephen King books. Probably my go-to. I, I am reading uh, Stormlight Archive by Brendan Sanderson right now. Can't recommend it enough. Mm. It's a lot to read. I just, I just got that uh, on Audible. I have, I, I'm, I'm going to be reading it next. Um, I can never DM a game for you again because I'm going to steal about ninety percent of it from oh, that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, one actually recent book that I've been reading is actually called "The Black Tongue Thief" by uh, Christopher Bullman. Okay. So basically, it's an interesting uh, kind of an idea on the. So like, I'm almost on the book at least at this point, so I'm trying to avoid spoilers and stuff. Okay. But it follows this thief that like he's from this uh country that like where most of them like they have black tongues it's just genetic kind of like that so it's kind of okay. like you get kind of a uh you immediately know who's from where in oh some okay, spots. okay yeah yeah but it's all about him kind of working through like this quest because namely his guild puts him in there and this shows the thieves guild as like one of those things of uh you should never just join it like because they kind of do the whole thing of hey, you can learn these skills and all this shit. And then it's like, oh, you got to pay back our debt. If you don't pay back our debt, <laughs> things can get pretty bad for you. Classic. You like your kneecaps? <laughs> uh, they're, they're, a lot of them are like cutting like fingers off and stuff like that in order yeah. to do that. And yep. it, it just turns into um, like, uh, I'm trying to remember what the exact thing is, but like you get tattooed on the face. So everyone knows that like you're with the guild. Oh, that's brutal. And, I and like treat that. you like shit. Like just huh. for the hell of it, at least you get a free tattoo so, out of it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah. actually go into what I like is they go into the tattoo like magical arts, like that. There's a lot of different tattoos that kind of um, you can use like for special occasions, like a for instance, like for uh, Featherfall. Essentially, like you can activate it oh. and stuff like that. I mean, it's intense magic. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, one really. of those things of you you just don't go down the street and get one <laughs> and like and like they do involve the whole idea of like wearing certain metals like inhibits magic like iron and stuff so like certain magicians like wear copper because for some reason it like works better like it doesn't cover it as much it's an interesting little story well i am adding that to my audible right now thank you mark yeah plus the appreciate you know, it. i was about to say the narrator is pretty damn solid Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. Man, I just... Oh. I like books, and I would love to read more, but I just don't have any time to. I... last because last, you got one of them families. Yeah. <laughs> having kids makes it real hard to, <laughs> to read. Yeah. Uh, last... I mean, prior to having kids, I did read all of uh, A Song of Ice and Fire, and that was awesome. Hmm. Um, I think because I bought them for work, I listened to every single one of those books multiple times. <laughs> yeah, I hate because like my job is like I can listen to some things when I work. Like I can listen to music. I'm sometimes can listen to podcasts if it's not like too intensive. Like I can't really listen to actual plays because I miss everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> So, like, I can't really listen while I work, and I don't really commute anymore, and that was my primary, like, time where I would either do podcasts or, like, audiobooks or, like, NPR. So now I just feel, mm. like, out of touch, and I don't consume any, like, <laughs> worthwhile media. <laughs> I just... You could do you could, you could do one of those things where, uh, where people listen to books while they fall asleep? I fall asleep in, like, two seconds. <laughs> I was about to say, then you fall asleep, and you're Damn. like, well, how, why am I eight hours into this book? I don't know what's going on. I think that... I, we, I, we, I think we, Nick Offerman actually did something like that, where he would like read a story, and it was supposed to be like a nighttime, like like lull you into sleep thing. So 
Mm-hmm. So that would never work for me because I'd never want to stop reading. Because it's like, gets to a good part, and it's like, well, i got to get to the end of it. Next thing you know, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. It's <laughs> yeah. a problem. Once I get into a book, I, I really enjoy it. We listen, When our trip down to uh, Florida and back, Rebecca and I listened to Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, which mm. is like a book about like two friends <laughs> and a bunch of like love stories, but they're also game developers, and they like start a video game company. And it's really, really cool. And it was a really sweet, really awesome story. And it made me want to listen and read more books. I have yet mm. to I've yet to start a new one since Florida. Cool. I'm gonna add that to my audible as well, thank you. Try Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> is there is there Garfield the audiobook? <laughs> Garfield. I was gonna say right, I'm, gonna type, I'm gonna type Garfield into 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 it right now, hold on. There you go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think of who voiced Garfield, like because there was the cartoon and like and the movies. Of Hi, Garfield. John. Yeah, the, Garfield yeah, that and voice. Friends, the old cartoon was actually hilarious. Oh yeah, my so gosh. But, but I'm just trying to think who the guy who voiced Garfield, like that deadpan, like <laughs> that voice. That we, we all hear in our head right now. That exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah the voice. Uh, by the way, I, I put in Garfield into Audible, and it came up with President Garfield by C. W. Goodyear. Well, okay, that, that's so it. Just I'm going to listen to that, and I'm going to be really confused. <laughs> Wait, oh, right. John Garfield Arbuckle. was a president? <laughs> He's my 19th favorite president. <laughs> uh, you have an extensive list. <laughs> I mean, I have them all ranked. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All ranked. <laughs> These are it's batting like, averages. <laughs> every every four years or so, uh, Kelly has to re- rejigger his list. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's got a he's, he's got a whiteboard, and they're all magnets. So he just like yeah. rearranges them. Uh, but this we need to like talk. This, we're we're gonna do up. a podcast. We're gonna get really heated. Like Taft was a tier. <laughs> How dare you, William Henry Harrison? And also organize them. <laughs> he was the shortest one, top tier. <laughs> you can also organize them as uh, which president would be good in a fantasy football team. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Lincoln, Lincoln, I think was QB. <laughs> uh, Tim. Uh, so I've been reading this book for a couple of years now. Uh, it's a dense read. And ironically, it doesn't apply to me anymore, but it's called The Missing Read Me, A Guide for the New Software Engineer. Uh, it's a bunch of stuff that I wish I'd known when I started my current job. Um, so, hey, if you're a aspiring software developer, read that book. Like, it's it would have saved me many, many, many hours of heartache. So, can, yeah. It's can, kind of more can, like a reference book for me, more than a more than a read. Oh yeah, just a, yeah, so, 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 so something to go back to, you know, kind of yeah, kind of re- yeah. refresh those things. Yeah, uh, I've actually can, like copied the diagrams from the book and used it for illustrator purposes for work emails. Dude, it's look at that. that! That's a good book. Yeah, that's a it really is good an book. Excellent book, <laughs> man. Uh, so uh, this is all to say that uh, I got back into listening to audiobooks because I caught up with every podcast I care to listen to. Um, hmm. And uh, I, I had like a big backlog. Stop bragging. <laughs> and um, and I started listening to, or I started reading on, or listening to on Audible. Uh, I am Legend. Oh yeah, oh, classic. That's a good one. It it is a it's a really good one. It's a really good read. Um, it, the entire book is is interesting. Definitely different than the movie, which I expected, obviously. But like, it's different from the movie in a really good way, to where like they feel like two separate things, with you know, obviously in the same vein. Um, but that whole book is just about that guy just going deeper into insanity. Hmm. Just yeah, just, just like con- Garfield. <laughs> just like Garfield. <laughs> All I am roads. Legend. <laughs> I am Garfield. All books lead to Garfield. Um, but yeah, no. So I got that, and uh, I also have the. After I finish that, I'm going to go back to, or I'm going to start up um, uh, the Stormlight Archives. Um, and can't recommend it enough. So I, you, uh, you are not. You're by like the tenth person to say that. Um, I had a, I had a friend uh, who I worked with that he was just like, I was listening to this, and man, you just. He would, like, start, and then he'd just be like, he's got to listen to it. Like, it was just one of those yeah, things he where he, like, didn't want to spoil anything, but he also had to talk to somebody about it. Mm. Um, so uh, I'm very excited to read that, but I want to get through the craziness of I Am Legend before I go into something something cool and fulfilling. Um, well, you know, there's one book that I really love reading, and it's uh, This Adventure Path, book three. Hey! Uh, so let's... Get back, get back into writing your stories mm. as we continue back with the regular group. Uh, who wants to tell me what happened right before? 
we ended we done like fell that. down. Yeah, yeah okay, back because we done fell down. Yep. Yeah, this uh, Scarlet Triad Thug was not happy about you up on up on the top deck casting spells oh, into the cargo hold. That's right. And so he, they, they, you, you made it. Like as far as everyone else, you made it to this first floor way faster than anyone else. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Look on the bright side. <laughs> well, without your consent, you 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 made it. You made it to the to the cargo hold. <laughs> I like trip. I liked just shocking people from up there. It was fun. <laughs> that's that's specifically why he walked up. He was like, "This fucking sorcerer, goddamn it!" Well, <laughs> now you can shock people down here. <laughs> yeah. Um. So that was the uh, that was at the end of his turn. So that so he is now finished. So good thing is he can't do a plunging attack on you, Kel. Good thing. Am I prone? <laughs> uh, you are prone. That's right. Um, oh man. So uh, let's just get right back into it. So the Scarlet Triad Thug that is up next. This is the one that is in between uh, Grimshaw and Benson. He is flanked by both of them. Um, the Paladin Sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Um, so was, he was there a different view? Um, that because uh, right now I'm just seeing the top of the ship. Uh, if you go over to the, uh, scroll over to Zoom the right. Out. Yeah. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's a big map. Yeah, because it's, it's three it's, inches over. Right. It's two, two levels. <laughs> yeah, no, I um, have it uh, slightly minimized on the screen. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. So I was like, huh. Uh, so it's this Scarlet Triad Thug Sir, like I said, the one in between Grimshaw and Benson. Um, I, I, I want. So he has the opportunity to flank Grimshaw, but he's already. Uh, yeah, no, he's gonna have to take that because he can't, he can't flank Benson. All right, yeah, so he's gonna take a five foot step. He's gonna take a five foot step to the north, and now he's flanking Grimshaw with his other friend. Uh, and I will say to you guys that these guys are looking pretty messed up. Um, so I'm not saying you got them on the ropes, but but they're 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 hurting. Um, so uh, he's gonna take a five foot step to the, to the north, and he is now flanking with his friend. On Grimshaw, so are they Grimshaw. friends or are they work acquaintances? Let's be uh, work. I don't know. Maybe they're really, really horrible friends. Um, you remember the, the, these guys were they beat the slaves in order to make sure that they mm. crowded you guys so they could get their uh, their pack attack ability off. Yeah, ah, that's right. Yes. Yeah, they're dead. They're all yeah. dead. Pack attack. These yes. are yeah. The, 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 like these are somehow as bad as the demon. <laughs> like these are just. <laughs> You just see the as demon touch kind of life What kind of life do you have to lead for when someone says he's kind of as bad as an actual demon and everyone's just like, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. 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 yeah, kind of dicks, you know? <laughs> uh, so, he's going to make two flail strikes on you there, Timbo. All right. Uh, so, this is going to be a, I guess your flat footed AC, a 30. Oh, man. Uh, flat footed AC, that gets me. That gets well, you, okay. Uh, Richard right, strike. strike. Yeah, yeah hit right. him. Hit him. Uh, so that is going to be 26 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my Jeez. gosh. Nope, it's going to be uh, 15 or 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my gosh. What the what? I like damage that. reduction. Hey, boy. Let's go. Because I'm kind of awesome like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. Fuck me. Oh, oh no! What? One. Oh no! Oh, wow. under rich beat a strike. Yeah. Oh wow. man, that wow. was good. <laughs> uh, you know I like me some pain. <laughs> of course. A uh, fling! Oh god! You drop the weapon you use to attack, and it lands one d six times five feet away from you in a random direction. Oh, uh, no, 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 I was just using the other sword I have. Okay, all right. <laughs> so we're not going to worry about it then. Take take the uh, next... Oh, no, this is my turn. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's not it's your like, turn. All right, so. the next action will be taking my sword out. <laughs> no, not my turn. So it, it, it flies off in a random direction and then lands in, in some of the hay that was lining the bottom of this... Uh, mm-hmm. lining, lining the bottom of the ship. Um, you'll have to search for it really hard because finding a bastard sword in hay is just it's difficult. <laughs> it's just like a needle in a haystack. <laughs> it's like just a, like a... Yeah, it's just like... Claymore in a haystack. Yeah. Claymore in a haystack. <laughs> Claymore in a field of heather. 
so this is going to be a second attack on you there, Grimshaw. Uh, that is going to be another 30. Jeez. Come on, yeah. Uh, that's going to be 25 points of bludgeoning damage. Ouch. I don't like it. Yeah, these guys. Chunk. They're... Yeah, for real. Yeah, if they, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, if he was not getting his pack attack off, it would not be nearly as much. But, okay, uh, that's exactly why. Or, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because on both of his pack attacks, he rolled uh, very well. So hmm. uh, so that, that bonus damage is just coming in hot for you guys. Um, Grimshaw, it is your turn, however. Okay. Um, so it has been a hot minute. Remind me which ones we have already hit. Uh, so the ones you've already hit are the two here at the top. So the one that just hit you, uh, he's been okay. hit a few times. The one that's just to the north of Benson, that one has been hit really bad, and he's flat-footed because Benson just crit him. Mm. Uh, and then the one that's to you, the southwest of you, um, yeah. he, he's been hit a little bit, but he's he's still he, he's still feeling healthy, though. Okay. Uh, do we remember if they have reactions or not? I don't know if we have run into those yet. I mean... I was just thinking that if you ain't think you get close to Benson, that way you get that plus two. Mm, so like AC. just take just take a step to my right, get that uh, plus two AC bonus, yeah. and hit away. That's yeah, a good hit idea. The, hit That's the flat a good idea. Because the one to the north of Benson is flat footed because of the crit, you said? Uh, correct, yeah. Oh, yep. excellent, yeah. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a five-foot step to my right. I am right next to Benson, and I'm going to mash the one to the north of Benson since his defense is <laughs> defense is lowered back to the mausoleum that's a natural one <laughs> oh Damn no it. and I have no ER points <laughs> so it's just paladin's really sick this um. <laughs> is bad fall you fall prone and are slowed one until the end of your next turn Oh my god! Oh jeez, it's terrible. <laughs> you stand up. <laughs> so is. Wait. Does that mean I'm slowed now? Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh! I don't so, know, what the heck? Heck? What the heck? Oh, so you're out of actions because yep, you were out of actions. I, I, yeah, step, strike, out of actions. Wow. Oh my gosh! Is Just that another man. natural one. Yeah, another yep. nat one. Rough. Jeez. That's my turn. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll I'll say what, what what happens here is that the the um, uh, the people that that they have in manacles uh, they're fumbling around all around you, and so while you're trying to avoid the, the you know these uh, these innocents, uh, you're you're fumbling over them too. Tim, um, you, so you're you, just like, what? Uh, get off of me, uh. Tim! You actually have an action left. Uh, you lose actions at the beginning of your turn when you're slowed. Hmm. Right. Interesting. Okay. All right. Okay. Do you take? I don't think I take it. I don't think I take a penalty from striking from down here. I think I just take an AC penalty since I'm on the ground. Uh, I I believe that's correct. Um, but no, you take a minus two. Oh, okay. Minus two. I I was gonna say that. I I think it's. I think it's like a regular minus two. But I hate this. I'm just gonna stand up. All right. Um, That's the worst. So as you miss, uh, he they do have reactions, by the way. Uh, so as you missed and you fumbled, uh, he's gonna. One of them is going to use bully push. Uh, a creature within the thug's reach misses the thug with a melee strike, um, and he's gonna he's going to attempt to shove you. So he's gonna make an athletic check against you. Um, this will be at a minus because uh, it is a reaction. Uh, 35 still. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's, it's regular success. Wait, yeah. no. He, uh, he, so he, in which case... He, he gets this as a reaction? Yeah. He, he doesn't take a multiple attack penalty. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I was just saying that, that the the reaction itself says that it says that there, there's, a, there's a penalty to it. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... It, it just says that they, they, they attempt to shove... Shove the triggering creature at a penalty. So, oh, um, interesting. Yeah. So the the um, a bull butcher had it too with his with his grab weapon thing. So, oh. um, 
I think that's how they balance it, because otherwise doing everything at max on a reaction God, is, that, is that kind of ridiculous. Wild. Yeah, so, uh, so anyway, he's going to shove you back five feet to be flanking again. Oh, no. Literally, I just started my turn exactly where I was. <laughs> <Brutal>. <laughs> you, you have, <laughs> that yes, but you have less health now. It's disgusting. And you have less yeah. actions next turn. It's this disgusting. Is, this is one of those like cartoon moments <laughs> where like <laughs> they they're gonna do something cool and they end up just like spinning out and like oh I'm I'm right where I started. And I don't it's even like have Simpson. AC. No. It's that Simpsons nope. bit where Bart's like, this is the worst day of my life. And I was like, <laughs> the worst day so far. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, Kezer, it is your turn. You are prone and on the cargo deck. Kezer will stand up. Um, and he will raise the staff of fire. And cast a heightened burning hands on the two dudes in the north. Oh, um, heck yeah! Would I, am I the only one that's going to point out that we're in a wooden ship full of hay? I don't care. <laughs> Roll reflex saves. So yes, all right. <laughs> it, it, With uh, civilians on board, by the way, it extends to <laughs> to here. If you we care. told them to leave. <laughs> all right. Uh, that, so that, this... that justifies burning them alive now. <laughs> We told uh, them six seconds ago. All right. The one on the left, Kel, uh, it got a 20. Fail. Oh. Fail. Uh, the one on this side gets a, let me see, uh, 24. B- fail again. Uh, okay, so Fail they, again. They both take 15 fire damage. Oh. All right. The left takes 15. The one that was flat-footed dies. Yes. Yes. There he goes. His beard catches on fire, suffocates, and he burns. <laughs> I don't feel bad. He's a smoldering corpse. Thing. That's the that thing of having a beard, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take bonus fire damage. Uh, all right. Then it is going to be the Scarlet Triad's turn that is all the way on the west. So, luckily, he's still flanking Grimshaw, so he's just going to go at it. Um, you are pro- uh, humans. Sorry, the humans first are going to. They're all humans. The civilians. Uh, the civilians are going to try to do their grapple maneuver on you. All right. God. Uh. Uh, let's see. It's going to be a natural one, so they crit hey. fail. fail. They fall. <laughs> fall prone. <laughs> uh, next one, 17. Uh, crit fail. Fall prone. Crit fail. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, if they, if they weren't in the situation they were, it'd be, it'd be Looney Tunes level funny. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, Alright, in which case, uh, no, nobody, nobody grapples you, but that's okay, because he's still going to get his uh, flank and jam off. Um, get the whole jam uh, off? Flank and jam. The whole jam. Uh, Come on, flail. Uh, 29 to hit, flat-footed. Yep. That's a hit. Yep. There's going to be 19 points of bludgeoning damage. I'm just okay. waiting for uh, Tim to erupt out of anger right I now. Know. <laughs> Bullshit! Uh, 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 27 to hit. That's actually a miss, believe it or not. Wow, okay, all right. I know, Jake's been rolling good. I yeah, guess I've Jake's been, been rolling been, very well. Rolling really well. Uh, okay, um, in which case he is going to... Uh, he's going to try to intimidate you. Ha, oh. that's funny. Uh, 24. That's a fail. That's a fail. It's funny. You just come on, Fetchling, lay down and give yourself over. Your cudgel mics may strike true, but your intimidation is weak. Milani will have your blood spilt all over this ship soon enough. As he, as he say, say the name Milani, he like <laughs> spits on the ground. <laughs> uh, I spit uh, back. <laughs> but he makes sure to spit on a baby. <laughs> make him as What's evil as possible. What's this baby doing here? Get this baby out of here. The little, little baby in handcuffs. 
Uh, oh no! <laughs> baby <laughs> manacles. No, along with that's puppy. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the puppies and manacles too. Jake, he I hit on a baby and punches the dog in the face. <laughs> All right, remember? Do you remember our session zero, Jake, where I said no oh. babies in handcuffs and no puppies in handcuffs? So that sorry. was my so limit. Sorry. That was my limit. <laughs> I'm totally fine with regular people and manacles. <laughs> well, I'm not fine with that either, but I understand it was a pre-written story. Oh, oh my god. I, I, had, uh, I had Rebecca watch Anchorman for the first time last night, and she got oh so my god. She, she was so shocked at the point when Jack Black kicked the dog off the off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Something I love. Back I'm in a last case of emotion. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Batman, put it, Baxter. Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. What did the Batman do? <laughs> Batman, <laughs> Batman. I might, I might go watch that after the, after we record this. Um, oh, I'll sit down and watch that anytime. Um, oh, good. It is your turn. Okay. Uh, seeing this chaos on the ship with fire and and combustible elements, uh, he is going to take a elven step. Up here. Ooh, yeah. Oh no. Oh no, Step I teleported. Extra elven. <gasps> yeah, double flank. Double <laughs> flank. <laughs> the flank train. Flankception. <laughs> <laughs> you flank him, I flank you. <laughs> uh, so, so, so he is going to. Uh, actually, shit. Uh, he's going to have to switch his hunter's aim target mm. to this one because okay. the one that he was was the wounded one, I believe. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It was the one that was, that was dead now. A minute. Uh, so yeah, he is going to do that. Um, roll, roll. Oh god. Oh, perfect. Uh, thirty-five to hit. That is a critical hit. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Um, uh, let me turn down the volume on this dice roller because I didn't expect it to do that. <laughs> Just shattered my eardrums. Oh my god, still doing it. Uh, 44 points of damage. Oh, 44? Are you shitting yes. me? Three, a th- uh, two sevens, and a three on the D8s. Wow. Plus a five to proficiency bonus and double that. Damn! Oh uh, my gosh. That is enough to kill him. Please describe yes. how you do this. Beautiful. Okay, so what happens is is that like he, he sees... Uh, Grimshaw just get chunked like mm. constantly and, get, and gets pathetically, you know, brought back. He's just kind of like being bullied back on each side. Mm. Then Elkwood just kind of does like this quick step, and then because this guy's distracted, just slices like right through his spine oh. and like, just drops him. Uh, Grimshaw, Grimshaw gives gives a nod and is like, "I see you're as fierce as your bird is." <laughs> <laughs> You're yes. almost as fierce as the bird, let's be honest. <laughs> that bird is jacked. <laughs> that bird is jacked. It has a six-pack on its wings. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. <laughs> it's not normal. <laughs> but, yes. So, yeah, oh. he just severs him, his spine. just, mm. And that's all of his actions. You, you see the dwarf keel over forward, and you can see the blood and bone and spinal fluid leak out onto the floor. Yeah, um, and like his oh look gosh. is just of contempt for these people. He's just so pissed off at them. Yeah. Uh, and actually, upstairs, up on the second floor, Famir is still up there. Like, is there anything going on, perception wise? Because uh, I can do a perception. Oh check yeah, yeah. Go ahead and uh, yeah, have Famir uh, make a perception check, and I'll, I'll give you a little. Yeah, because I know like before you're like, ah, look at the, um, the captain's cabin or whatnot, and kind of uh, got distracted. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, 31 perception. 31 perception. Um, so, the mirror doesn't say anything. You don't hear him make any calls or anything like that. Um, but I'll say that the mirror... I don't know if you would have this sort of connection with him to, like, feel this, but uh, there's an ominous quiet out in the town now. Oh, no. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that, there's no such connection like that. It's just more like if he called, like, kind of like, oh, caca, caca, like that. And yeah. Like, no, oh, shit, so, what's going on? No, no, no. He, 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 doesn't, he doesn't make a call or anything like that. He's just sort of up there, and he's just looking at it, looking out. Okay. Um, gotcha. Uh, Benson, it is your turn. Okay. Benson is going to take out his second sword. Uh, <laughs> um, move to here. Ooh. Okay. 
and get in flanking with this fine dwarven slaver. That, that dwarf is not on the. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's on the top deck. He, he oh, just stepped over. Sorry about no, that. Fine. Mm. He stabs him through the top. Then I just get his feet. I right up. <laughs> Wait. Um, oh yeah, you don't have that much movement to go on the other side. Well, to just well, calling it's out five, his ten. <laughs> yeah, that's slow. Oh, how, what's your movement? What is it? Three hundred feet. <laughs> five hundred feet. <laughs> Yeah, if I could cheat and uh, make and know all the fucking magical items and yeah, shit, Tim, I just made a paladin. That's Tim, all I did. <laughs> Tim's paladin shoots fire out of his ass when he moves. <laughs> yeah, it's canon now, Tim. I'm sorry. When oh, you when you activate no. that, it's flatulence. It's. <laughs> <laughs> and I will make a strike at this dwarven slaver. I pulled the weapon, moved. Here's the strike. Mm. Tw- Twenty six. Are you shitting me? Uh, I still hit. Oh, it is? Hey. That was a garbage yeah, roll. Yeah, they don't have the AC of uh, Bull Butcher. No. 16 points of damage. All uh, right. Yeah, but when you have a plus 18 to a stat and you're seeing yeah. like 26, you're like, mm, mm-hmm. fuck me, all right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, is that the end of your turn? That is the end of my turn. Okay. Um, you Scarlet Triad Thug that pushed Kezra down. Um, uh, he is going to jump down and try to attack Kezra. It's a really dumb idea. <laughs> Wait, how far down is that? Is that at 10 feet? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a 10 footer, so. So he's going to take some damage, I think. Uh, well, he's going to make an acrobatics check. Uh, a 17, so I actually think that that barely succeeds, but. Um, so. Uh, Alright, and he is then going to... You're not flanking or anything, you're already standing up, so he is just going to... Oh, I always need to remember that the civilians need to make their grapple attempts on you. Please. How many uh, civilians died from that burning hands? Uh, I, I think that Kezra was careful enough to avoid them somehow. <laughs> as long as they weren't standing behind those two, uh, those two bullies. No, uh, for the most part, they're standing around you guys, so, yeah. Um, all right. First a grapple check, uh, a fail? Or a 12, is that a critical fail? Yes. True. Uh, on, on Kezra. Okay, so he falls over, and a 15, another absolute fail. Um, all right, so you are not grappled, so this is just going to be uh, against your regular AC. Um, so... First flail attack. Uh, 30 to hit? Uh, yep. Okay. This could be 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Would you, uh, I don't imagine that the plus two from my shield aura would help you. Uh, no, it does not. And I, I remembered your shield and I was like, well, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to help, good buddy. Okay. Uh, and then second attack. Uh, 18 to hit. That's a mess. That's a mess. Okay. All right. Uh, dead Scarlet Trias. Uh, then it comes to Grimshaw. Man, I'm still looking up this whole falling damage thing. Apparently, the acrobatics check to reduce falling damage is a Pathfinder One E thing. Oh, really? Is that, a, is that a previous? Thing? Like, I'm trying to see if, if it if it uh, applies to Pathfinder Two E as well. Well, you know what? I will. I will give him the what the five damage or whatever it is, and uh... yeah. But if he if he takes damage, then I think he falls prone, which is why it would you know uh, it definitely change things. Um, gotcha. But we'll, we'll, let's go with your let's go with your ruling for now. I'll I'll okay. check it up later. Gotcha. Um, I'm going to move into. I'm slowed one. In this for this turn, so I only have two actions. So I'm going to move into flanking with sub. Benson. Okay. I will incur any reactions, and then I'm going to strike, strike away with the Morningstar Milani. <laughs> oh, flank train has moved. <laughs> that is what I am talking about at 35. Uh, that will be a critical hit. That hey. is exactly what I thought. All right. Big money, big money. Let's go. Decent money. <laughs> Average money. Average <laughs> money. <laughs> All right, uh, so take taxes at first and then, then 
22 points of damage after tax. 22 points of damage after tax. Mm-hmm. Got it. All right. Yeah, he's, he's, he's hurting. He's hurting. Good. That's my turn. That's your turn. Uh, Kezra Davidson. All righty. Uh, Kezra will... Step away. He will uh, he'll run over here. All right. And shooty shoot out another electric arc. Roll some reflex saves. Okay. So I'm going to do the guy on the left first. His reflex save is a uh, 18. That's a re- just a regular fail. Just a regular fail. Close, though, I think. Very close. Uh, and then a and then a twenty-one on the on the guy that f- uh, just dropped down, and another fail. And another fail. They will both take nineteen damage. Jeez, jeez, that's um, a little crack. Why is electric guard like one of the best spells in the game? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sure is. Okay, um, that was, that, that was a good uh, roll. I will say, yes, though, yeah. I, I was going to say that had to be a good roll. Yeah, but still, I mean, being able to hit two targets like that, just pretty solid. Yeah. Okay. Um, Kezra, as you finish your turn, you do look down at your feet, and it does look like that hay or straw is starting to smolder. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, Scarlet Triad Thug's turn. So this is the one that is flanked by Benson and Grimshaw. Um... He's going to take a five-foot step to the south, and so he's now no longer flanked by the two of you. Um, and then he, oh, he uh, is going to order order, his, order the commoners, the civilians, to try to grapple you, Benson. All right. Uh, a fail and a fail. Okay. Uh, right. So this is just your regular AC. No, no bonuses here on the attack. Uh, 24 to hit. <laughs> Cute. Yep. <laughs> and a 31 on the second attack. No. Okay. So what do you think I am, Grimshaw? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think Grimshaw and Benson's AC are basically the same. Yeah. yeah. All close. right. Uh, Elkwood. Oh, man, already back. I forgot we, like, killed out two of them. Yeah, you killed uh, half of them, so... Yeah. It's weird being so, a paladin in this situation, because I'm, like, just attacked him, so I get my retributive strike off. <laughs> but, uh. All right, so, actually, he's just going to stay there. He's going to hunt prey on the dude right below. Okay, the guy that just jumped down. Yeah, and yep. he is going to take a two-action um, quick draw with the Eclipse and just going to hurl this thing at him. Get that extra oh. plus two. All right. Just swing. Okay. Damn. Uh, that is a 30. Uh, that'll hit, yep. Okay. Uh, just 11 points of damage. Okay. Yep, nothing too crazy. All right. Uh, is that everything? Yep. Uh, Benson, it is your turn. All right. Well, Benson will zoop de zoop de zoop Yep. Back <laughs> right back into flanking. <laughs> yep. First strike. 22. Uh, 22. That is a miss, even with flanking. What the really? garbage uh, rolls from Benson. Unfortunately, yeah. That's 20. Fuck you. Okay. That's my turn. <laughs> All right. I think Absolute I saw. Uh, poor shit. I think I solved the uh, falling thing. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could have just. You'd climb down the ladder for the same amount of actions, and it's only ten feet, so you'd make it in one action. So... Yeah, I was going for the, I was going for a flavor, because a plunging attack is cool. Yeah. I, th- yeah. I think the point <laughs> is you can get down safely no matter what. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, okay. Um, Alright, so the Scarlet Triad, so the one that just jumped down, the one, the one in question, um, he is going to go... Can I move? Uh-huh. Ooh. Wait, how's that 15? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, even then, that's still... Tw- oh, but he can't get to... He wants to get behind Grimshaw, but he can't. He can get behind Benson, though. Okay. 
All right, so he's going to go up behind you, Benson. Very well. Uh, Commoners are going to try and grab you. Uh, Nope. And uh, fail, fail. Uh, After this fight, I can't wait to hear what their bonus to grapple is, because it must be almost fucking impossible for them to grapple. uh, Their Mm -hmm. athletics is a plus five. It, it's impossible for them to grapple me. <laughs> yeah, the only time I think they might be able to do it is if they get natural twenty or are going against a wizard. Yeah, uh, right. Just like, yeah. <laughs> or a red or a red drake, uh, flame drake, or a red drake. <laughs> or a red drake. That's right. <laughs> for they, some they reason that works. Red drake. Uh, all right, two flail attacks on you, Benson. We get okay. your flat, flat-footed AC. Uh, that is going to be a twenty-seven. Nope, a miss. Uh, and an 18 out of <laughs> total whiffs on those two things. Um, okay. Grimshaw, it is your turn. Okay, so Grimshaw is going to call out desperately to Milani. It's going to be like, I could really use some help, please. Uh, and it's going to attempt a religion check for sacred defense. Okay. All right. This is this is by no means a give me by any. It's DC thirty. Question. Yes. Question. Did you critically fail this when you tried it earlier in the day, or was it a regular fail? Um, I thought I just regular fail. Okay. All right. I'm am d- just checking. I'm just checking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if it was a critical uh, fail, you you would have definitely remembered. So right. if you, if you yeah, <laughs> listeners so. write in when <laughs> as I've definitely <laughs> so, forgotten. Get in the comments. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh. Well, I critically failed now, so... Oh, no! <laughs> if I critically failed before, it is of no consequence. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Milani, Milani, mur- yep. Milani does oh. not think you are doing a good enough job at murdering these slavers. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> you gotta murder them harder. Murder them harder. Murder them harder. Pretty judgy. <laughs> and I feel like... Uh, uh. As I just, like, wait there expectantly for, like, some sort of, like, power to flow through me and nothing happens, I'm like, all right duck to you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna bash away. Alright. Hey, I'm glad uh, I got that two out of the way because I got a 37 to hit. That is go. a critical hit. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's all worth it in the end. And oh, baby, lucky sevens. So that's 40 points of damage. Very uh, nice. Please describe your kill. Oh, man. So after not getting the sacred defense of Alani, uh, uh, Grimshaw's got, you know, he's got, he's got a little, he's got a little bit of temper. He's a little brash. So he, he kind of directs his, his, I guess, uh, like because he failed, he's directing his anger towards this being um, who is worthy of such anger. And he mm-hmm. just, uh, he just, he bashes, but you could see that he just like keeps kind of bashing and bashing and bashing. Um, and in his last action, um, he is going to move with a uh, heated step uh, next to uh, Benson. Be like, all right, let's last one. Let's take him out. Benson's like, dude, right. you kind of take my thing, pal. With the anger problem here. <laughs> Wait, you do, huh? I guess it's universal. Wow. <laughs> you do the uh, um, the, the the predator <laughs> handshake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how all champions uh, shake hands. Um, well, I haven't slowed this round, right? I had just gotten over my slow in the last round. Pretty sure. Okay, okay. Uh, if not, you the last thing you did was move anyway. So, yeah. um, so just move yourself back if necessary. You just uh, didn't do that handshake. You just didn't do the handshake. Uh, Kezer is no, your turn. No, you have to do the handshake. <laughs> <laughs> um, are the embers at my feet small enough to stamp out with one action? Um, I I would say yeah, yeah. You do you 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 caught you caught it in time. That's fine. How kind of you? Where, was... What have you be? Co- <laughs> what uh, Grimshaw call, calls out and is like, "What? One of you bequeathed some sort of wand of water or something?" <laughs> <laughs> Not worth the action. Damn stick. <laughs> <laughs> so I will very. I will. Thanks to the uh, 
GM's generosity, I will stamp out the flames that I'm standing on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Stop, 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 stop. And launch a produce... Uh, well, you guys are in the way now. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Launch more <laughs> fire. <laughs> more... <laughs> Thank goodness I put that fire out. I need to put more fire. In. You don't want to, you don't want fire to contaminate fire. Well, if he just hits him, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just hit him with an electric arc. Go ahead and roll another reflex. That reflex. Whoa, Kelly, I don't like rolling this. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Uh, fourteen. Oh, cr- critical fail. There we go. Oh, damn, I figured. Oh, wow. oh, God. As you take 32 damage. God, their reflex save is garbage. Awful. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once I realized that their reflex was really bad, I was like, I'm just gonna keep electric arc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just, you just, you just keep, you just keep it on the tip of your finger and just like, <laughs> pew, 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 every time. <laughs> Lightning bolt. <laughs> Lightning bolt. Lightning yeah. bolt. <laughs> uh, right. Um, Elkwood, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, he is just going to stay there and do a two action, uh, again, a throw with the Eclipse. So. All right. Um, I will say he's got some cover from Grimshaw. Um, um, still a 34. Still a 34. That is still a hit. Dang. Uh, 15 points of damage. Uh, he is, uh, scared. (laughs) Okay. He is officially scared now. Okay, and that's good, uh, because I have one more action left, uh, and so he is going to throw it again, because why not? Alright. Uh, that's a miss. That's an 18. 18, yeah, yeah, that's a miss. Um, Benson, it's your turn. All right. I uh, can't really get into a comfortable flanking position here. Benson, uh, no, yeah, because he, he he's right he's right next to the beam that's hold that's uh mm-hmm. you know holding up this entire thing. Well, if so. I did that that that. Oh, uh, five, ten, oh, yeah, fifteen. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. So you sort of danced around the the pole in the center of the room. But it's okay um, because I can't seem to roll above a ten tonight. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Okay. It's okay, because this is going to be the natural 20 right here. Fuck you. Just 21. Rough rough night for the paladins. Again, plus 18. (laughs) Plus 18. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Even even with flanking, definite definite no. 31. There you go. go. Uh, 31. That will hit. Fucking finally. 23 points of damage. Oh, dang, uh, that's solid. Nice. Uh, yeah, that was nice. out of chonkers. Whew. All right. It comes yeah, to how turn. terrifying must it be to be sandwiched in between two fully plate-wearing fucking paladins, just absolute mm-hmm. units, but you're just right yeah. between them? Just, just, just swinging ham hocks every single time, mm-hmm. too. Um, all right. It does come to the Scarlet Triad Thug's turn. Uh, he is going to try to get the fuck out. He's going to take a... He's going to go 5, 10, uh, 15, 20. Uh, and then he's going to make it to the top deck. Um, and that is all that he will be able to do right now. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, so you, you guys uh, you guys will have vision of this, but um, I'm going to move mm. him over to the top deck uh, so that way you guys can see where he is. Uh uh, I, I guess you guys wouldn't be able to see it, but mm. uh, Vermeer does. Vermeer does, however. <laughs> Vermeer sees. Vermeer's there. Uh, right. Um, <laughs> like Vermeer's gonna finish this guy off. Let's be honest. I, right? I mean, he might actually <laughs> looking at his HP. He might. Steve, uh, kill for the wind. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were safe. You didn't expect the bird. Uh, <laughs> Grimshaw, your turn. All right, Grimshaw calls out to the people down here. Your captors are dead. On to me. Let's leave this place. And, uh, I feel like the last battle, it took a while. I'm trying to figure out if I still have flames shooting out of my 
but yes because I had the I have the bonus to speed for a minute so that is 10 rounds all right I started it as combat I feel like this combat it. alone was like six rounds yeah this combat uh, we're long. on round five of this one okay so I think it's like, pretty safe to say that I don't have it anymore. Yes, I would. So I, would agree. I think probably this uh, it probably happened last round is when I lost it. So you guys see that the fluttering of his of his fiery billowy cape uh, settles but, down into just the crimson <laughs> the crimson display that just kind of like the, the, the shimmer. Um, and yes, the flatulence stops. So he stops hot boxing <laughs> this lower oh. deck. <laughs> Uh, all right, no wonder the flames took so well. <laughs> all right, uh, so I am going to climb up. So five, ten, and then I, with one action, I'm able to climb all the way up. Uh-huh. So I'll be right next to him. All right, so you will be right. I'll move you over so Thank you guys you. So you can see where you get up. All right, so you, you, he is he is directly at the top of this thing. So. All right, shove him he... back down. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> you um, have a shove action. So. I do have a shove action. That would be sick. Just like, get it back in there. Get back in the, get back in the cargo <laughs> hole. Got you for three minutes. Gonna, you know, I, I think I am going to do that. I'm going to use the Morningstar Milani to shove him back in there. Because that go. is too fun. Oh, yeah. Where do you think you're going? We're not done with you yet. He was like, oh, hey. Oh, come on. When I want to do something cool, I roll poopy stink. Uh, oh, 25 Your against way with his words always fortitude. Me, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, just a miss on the fortitude. Uh, okay, last just action. Just a miss against his fortitude, DC, yeah. I hate that. I literally <laughs> hate that. Last action, I'm just going to swing, baby, swing. All right. Um, I cannot right. believe that. Kezer, it is no, your no, turn. No, no, um, no, no. I had oh, one action left because oh, I sorry, moved, sorry, sorry. shoved, and then I attacked. Oh, okay. And um, I got an out 20. Oh, <laughs> there okay. we go. There we go. Not freaking 20. <laughs> Kel, let me hear the crit card. A wee Uh, Give me a shove. Please be a shove. <laughs> Please be a shove. <laughs> Uh, you do no damage, right. and uh, you trip him. Huh. All right, Tim. As always, you have to pick bludgeoning or piercing. I'm gonna do piercing. I feel like piercing today. Huh. I know it pro- probably rules out the shove, but <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is weird. Pinned arm. As the bow critical criticalization effect. And the target can't use one of its arms until freed. So you basically stab your Morningstar through his arm and oh. pierce it to his body. Oh. Okay. So so here's what was happening. He was running and his arm is is clenched up because he's yeah. like he's like running like this, and yeah. you get the Morningstar in the elbow. Oh. Go. Now Tim, and so he that. sticks there in order, and he's just like he like sees the spikes like through his arms and oh like you know into his gosh. bones, and he's like. Ah, 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 ah. That is in, so oh man. in order to maintain oh man. The, the bow criticalization effect, you have to drop the weapon. So you, you can't just take oh. double damage if you want, or you can leave it, leave it in there, and then he can't move. I, I, I think no, though that's literally what I was at, what I was picturing. I was picturing like I kind of like stab him down into the deck, and I leave my morning star there, yep. and as I release my hand from the weapon, which I do. Uh, 840, 28 points of damage. His hand starts to glow with necrotic energy, ready for the next turn. Um, I don't think you need to worry about that because he is dead. Yeah, yeah. you scared him so bad as you <laughs> brought him down to the into the deck of the ship and pinned him there. He looked up at you and he just saw this righteous anger yeah. that he has never seen before. Mm. It was just like, oh, oh. <laughs> I died of fear. Nice. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, that is the end of combat here on the Ooh. Genie Smile. Ugh. Oh wow! Did we kind of just run straight towards the boss fight? Uh, no, no, not really. <laughs> okay. Feels like it. Um, I'm like, Kezra's pooped. I know. So yeah. Well, the lo- nice thing is now is we have a boat. <laughs> <laughs> a boat that was 
No, for slavery. Yeah, um, Kezra's greed I mean, kicked in. I mean, he could boat. And in, one, in, this, in his one action when he didn't care if the, bur- the boat burned down, in his next action he was like, well, it is a nice boat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can uh, repurpose this boat into something. Exactly. Uh, yeah, the, the, there, there are... Uh, there, there is a method on on how to like change the name of a boat and all that stuff. So, wait, there's um, an actual game read. system for changing the name of a boat. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you repaint it. Our, our group is big <laughs> on asset acquisition, so you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we got a we got a castle in book one, so book three, obviously, we get a boat. You get a boat. We also got um, a mine. So let's go ahead <laughs> in the Mwangi. a gold mine. We never found the deed. I thought we found the deed. Oh. There was no deed to that. The deed is called. It's mine now. <laughs> oh, 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 that was a good one. Yeah, I'm so I'm so great. Uh, little do you know, and, and, and Hazel's at home reading the deed to it. She's secretly been getting income from the mine this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> so she purchased those, those magic items. Um, anyway, let's let's get to the hold. So the cargo hold. Each of the support beams in this cramped hold bear heavy bolts affixed to manacles. A few low benches sit above the bilge water and, and accumulated filth. Two large wooden grates in the ceiling provide the room's only illumination. This is where you guys jump down into. Currently, a total of 38 slaves would have been slaves. Damn. Are in this cargo hold. Mm. Damn. That's a lot. They are, they are chained in manacles. The, the, they had released some of them in order to attack you guys mm-hmm. with. Um, two each, so uh, eight. So there's eight that are not, um, but the other 30 are still in manacles. Mm-hmm. Well, you, this you Morning imagine? Star is made for more than just uh, smashing. It's made for freeing. Can you imagine the cinematography of the shot as, like, Benson, Elkwood, they all, they'll fall down. Only light is these two up ahead, and there's people everywhere, but it's so dark you can't see, and then all of a sudden people start getting shoved mm. out, and you can kind of mm. see the dwarves in between as they fight through into the darkness. It would be such a good shot. I'm saying. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Very cinematic. Plus, oh, yeah. like, um, the lightning l- illuminating the lower deck every once in a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All the while, the boat's rocking a little mm. bit, so the There's a storm overhead, too. Don't yeah. forget that. There's yeah. a vicious storm overhead. Um, you were, said you were going <laughs> to smash the locks there, Grimshaw? Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, on the top deck, you see through the ash of where Bold Witcher's corpse was, a key. Ah, cool. Well, I would take the key then. Yeah. Uh, so, the the key you find out it goes to the manacles below. Nice. Um, so, you don't have to smash anything, luckily. But well, what if I want to? Um, <laughs> I, I mean, you can if you want. I mean. Now, uh, does performing this action by chance restore a focus point for me? Uh, this is a, a, an absolute. This is the point of your deity. So yes, yes. I would say it restores the focus point. Heck yeah, heck yeah. That's a, a little known fact about uh, champions: is they can uh, get free focus point restoration for doing things uh, for their deity, which is so, awesome. Yeah, I had no idea that was a thing. Yeah, yep. I did not know that. <laughs> so. Hmm. Yeah, I came across I, I, that. I, th- I think I did that. Uh, I think I did that uh, for fun and not realizing that was that because I remember giving you like a free yeah. zeal or something mm-hmm. like that at one point. So. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna right, I'm so, gonna use that to lay on hands because Grimshaw is he looks rough like the roughest say, you you've a, ever seen him. Maybe you need another dose. Yeah, of yeah. That. What was your HP at by the end of that? I was at 24 out of 116. Oh, oh I was shit. one Whoa. hit from falling. One yeah, hit, that's like that's the one hit from these guys. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Kezra goes back to the top deck while they're freeing people. He doesn't care about this. Oh. At least he's honest. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, he's honest. But uh, Elk is actually looking at this room in the very back. Um, all right, so uh, le- 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 let's go Let's go where, where Kezra's going first. So, Kezra, what, what do you do when you get up top? Uh, he's going he, to he's gonna shift around in uh, Bull Butcher's ashes for his crap, and he also wants to get into his quarters. Mm. Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, in, in Bull Butcher's corpse, uh, you find an imprint of a key that Grimshaw had grabbed. Uh, an imprint but, uh, of a yeah, key? It, 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 <laughs> do what? An imprint? Yeah, just like in the ash. There, there's like the shape of a key in the mm-hmm. ash. Damn. Uh, <laughs> it's like, oh, a key's gone missing. Where, where did it go? Um, uh, but no, no the, uh, he, did not, he did not have anything uh, otherwise. Um, 
the do, 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 oh the so you want to go go into the captain's cabin. Yep. The large cabin is as wide as the ship. A single bed occupies a wide nook on the starboard wall, uh, next to a chest of drawers built into the ship's hull. Uh, a heavy table with a few chairs around it bears several large sheets of parchment. Hmm. Uh, what would you like to do? I guess uh, I will look at the parchment. Um. Okay. Uh. So. As you go over, you see that it's actually like detailed diagrams of the genie's smile, sort of like a blueprint for a ship. Um, but it looks like uh, it looks like the he's been whoever this is um, has been sort of working on planes to like uh, change the layout, and he's sort of been you know uh, fixing um, fixing this corner and that corner, and it seems to be like wanting to move things around inside of it. Uh, apparently, the purpose of this is to retrofit the ship's hold to fit even more slaves. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> if you knock um, out this wall, it gives you more room. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, if you take out all the supporting beams, you get at least four more prisoners. So, uh, the planes indicate that uh, whoever this is intends to build several narrow racks into the underside of the deck, making the cramped room even more cramped to jam in additional human cargo. All right. He he takes that piece of parchment and he just lights the corner on fire and then tosses it on the ground. Lighting the ship Uh, on fire. Everyone dies. (laughs) (laughs) Because it runs out. I'm sorry, guys. Pretty pretty (laughs) sure this, this boat can handle burning paper. (laughs) <laughs> um, any other parchment on the so on there your... is uh, do what any other information in the parchment um, nope nope it just looks like it, um, it, it you can tell that there's a few different there's a few different versions so it almost looks like uh, he was he was taking a long time doing this as like a real solid endeavor um, but uh, there are um, as you go kind of go throughout the cabin um Whoever, whoever this belongs to uh, appreciates luxuries, and you can tell because there is a large selection of fine cutlery, decorations, and miscellaneous valuables on display throughout the cabin. Go ahead and make me a crafting check to appraise. Oh, right person went for that. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, for real. Okay. can do that. Pretty good at that. Uh, rolled like piss, 19. Uh, still, luckily, like I said, it's it's cutlery and decorations and miscellaneous valuables. You look at it all and you're like, this is about 540 gold pieces oh, worth. Oh, oh my god. Uh, some nice stuff. stuff. That's some silverware. Huh. Uh, you also find on the um, at the foot of at the foot of this person's bed uh, which seems to be a bright green cape. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Do I detect magic Ooh. on it? It has gold trim. Uh, I'll tell you that it glows with a magic aura. I think I know what this is. <laughs> oh, dear. I think I know what it is. <laughs> All right. Oh, Tim read the adventure, so he knows. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Just my memory's getting jogged. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll spend the next ten minutes identifying this magic. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, if it's going to be another ten minutes, I'm going to use another, restore another focus point and use the land hands again. So okay. You do that. Cape of Wish. Uh, <laughs> Let's go to Elkwood. Okay. Yeah, you are in the cargo hold, and you went to the back. So there's a door all the way in the back of the sh- of the hold. Yeah. Is it locked? Um, nope, it is not locked. Okay. Hey, he's just don't do a perception against it first, just to okay. make sure there's nothing like hiding in there. Uh, yeah, you sort of put your ear up, you know, hear anything, and one of the uh. One of the civilians is is now like, oh, I'm I'm pretty sure this is storage. That no, no, nobody went in there. Hmm. Looks looks at the civilian. Why the hell are you still here? Uh, but I was getting comfortable. Be, 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 I'm still manacled. They haven't let me out yet. Oh, that's right. There's <laughs> there's thirty of us <laughs> doing this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, unlocking yeah. people. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. But there's only uh, one key. Yeah, there's only one key. <laughs> He's just cutting uh, their arms <laughs> off to get them out faster. <laughs> You're free. Ah! Uh, yeah, but uh, he, he opens up the door. All right. 
This cramped storeroom is crowded with barrels and crates. The faint smell of unwashed bodies lingers in the air. Uh, So you can see that these ship's supplies are kept in here. Um, Mm -hmm. They're easily uh, they're easily out of reach of anyone that was manacled um, inside. Um, So uh, as you as you kind of look around, go ahead and make me a perception check. All right. Turns out the whole ship was a mimic. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> a literally flying Dutchman. Um, a 32. Uh, 32. That is well enough to know. Um, uh, you can see what looks to be like some uh, some stains of people that may have been locked up in here. Um, so you can you believe that the smell is sort of coming from just the leftover sweat uh, and maybe excrement from people. Right. Um, but they don't bother to clean it up, despite the fact that their food is in here. However, what you do find uh, during the raid here, or somewhere else most likely, um, it seems to uh, be a place where they would just um, offload everything. Hmm. And as you turn this area over, you find a container. And as you open up the container, you find four chunks of mithril what? and five, five chunks of silver ingots. <gasps> That's some money right there. Bro. No, money. You use that to craft. Can you imagine? Yeah, crafting shit. Oh, my gosh. Like, have someone make, like, a mithril, like, saber or, or, <laughs> or something? Mithril elven curve blade? Mithril, yeah. mithril bastard. Oh, my gosh. Even, maybe? Oh, my God. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, that's uh, so freaking cool. <sighs> all right. It's worth more than the that's Shire cool. and everything in it. <laughs> John, thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah, I was like, "Hmm." Uh, okay. Um, So yeah, uh, that's all that you find down there. Um, You can go back and start helping, uh, helping everyone else. Was it like food and all that too, or? Uh, Yeah, there there is some food down there. Um, It's mostly just uh, grains and stuff like that. Um, They were. uh, It looks like they were low on food, so it looks like they came here to not only get slaves but also get food. So, Um, Uh, right. But let's go back up to Ukel. Would you roll on that there, uh, Arcana check? Uh, 29. Uh, 29. Have you ever heard of the Cape of the Montebank? The Cape no of way. the who? No way. No what? I know exactly what this is. What is this? Cape of the Montebank. Benson Montebank. burns his cape. <laughs> what is? <laughs> no, this is, this is probably one of the best cloaks in the game. <laughs> Kelly, item level ten. Ooh. Uh, so the this is a green uh, green cloak with gold with gold trim. Um, so the the in the book it says red um, is often interlaced with glittery threads and ser- and serves as a distraction. While wearing the cape, you gain a plus two item bonus <gasps> to deception checks. So mm. if, oh my, pretty cool. Also, uh, once per day, two action interact. In fact, you can cast Dimension Door. There it is. Oh, oh my god. Man. It's a pocket gosh. dimension door. Oh my god. It's a pocket gosh. dimension door. Only once per day, but still. Oh. That's the space you leave and the one you appear in are filled with a puff of smoke that make anyone <sighs> within concealed until <gasps> they leave the smoke or end on your ne- or, or the end of your next turn, at which the point at which point the smoke dissipates. Oh. Strong winds immediately disperse the smoke if that were a second. This is, it is genuinely one of the best magical items in the game. Yes. It, it, it is a that, that's why that name is so mm. was so cool to John because wow <laughs> Cape of the Montebank I think we're gonna have to do a roll off for this it's like I, my cape my cape is pretty good because that movement speed kind of acts as my dimension door you know what I mean I know it's not the same range at all but I feel like I do have my mobility um, so, I mean Kel, go ahead and this would Kel, uh, the, wait hold on Kel, while you are just while you are uh, thinking about that, go ahead and make me a perception check because you're looking it over too. <laughs> it's embroidered with the um, the craftsman's name. <laughs> uh, Twenty five. Uh, critical success to see that there is uh, stitching with a name in it. Oh, oh. wow! I was just kind of joking. Na- <laughs> no, oh, that's that. There's a name in it. Uh, the name is Sedrani Varsnastil. Uh, if you would like to make a society system. check, you might be able to know who that is. I am not trained in society, but I'll try. 
A natural one for a one. Oof. <laughs> Who does he think it is? <laughs> so, wow, that's... Is that, is that the name of a... Is that a name, the name of a Vudrani demon? Yeah, I'm just like, I see that name, like, who the fuck's that guy? Who cares? <laughs> who that? I'm trained in the society. Dang. Uh, so am I. Yeah, so, well, is there anything else in this room? Um, nope, besides the treasure and the cape. Uh, uh, no, that is all you see. All right. Um, okay, Kezra just heads back out. Shouts down to the. Shouts down to the lower decks. You all done down there yet? Let's get off this stinking ship. It's a lot of people. And there's only one key. I thought some. I, I thought I heard some hands so getting arms. cut off. <laughs> 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 Yeah, this Kyle keeps dropping the key into the, into the, in between the boards. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wow. Hey, I, I, it, it's raining. It's very slippery. Uh, <laughs> can, I, can I do like thievery checks just to speed things along? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, of well, course. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Go ahead and make me a thievery. While check. you're all down there, does this name sound familiar to you? What was it again? Uh, it was Sidrani v- Varshnar Still. Okay, Varshnar let me Still. check. That's a 29 for thievery, by the way. So uh, oh. That is a success, so I'll, I'll let the carry over so you do it in twi- uh, half the time. I got a nat 20 in my society check. Damn. Oh, probably met well, this makes sense, <laughs> Tim. I got a 27, just to it, say. It does? 22. This makes exceptional sense for, for Grimshaw, uh, as you'll recognize the name Varshner still mm-hmm. as one of the noble families of Kentargo. Oh, come on. And Shoot. you know that this woman... Who the, the the name belongs to a woman who owns the business of the Sunset Imports. Oh dang! The place that was oh. connected with a criminal activity. Yes, the place where uh, Hu- Hubert Throp was going to meet. Yeah, I do know that name. One of the noble families of Contargo. Now that I think about it, I think they were the owner of Sunset Imports. You know where the shady dealings were going on. So yeah, keep that cloak. They're not gonna miss it. Do I do I know them to be a shady person or? Uh, with a critical success, you 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 just know that that is the name attached to that business. Huh. Um, with all of the with all of the uh, underworld activity and the 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 crime families and stuff like that and the sort of uh, shady dealings in the area. Some some stuff might have happened there, some stuff might have not. Mm. But as far as you know, they're a noble family, so right. they, they don't carry that kind of reputation. Yeah, uh, uh, what's, what, what, what's strange check? to me is that like they, the cloak is here, so it was like forcibly taken. It, that's what it kind of. Yeah, this seems like it, stolen property. Yeah, yeah. It just seems like, damn, this is good stolen property. This stays in the captain's or, quarters. Or this right. boat belongs to her and not Bull Butcher. Uh, also mm. possible. Yeah. Yeah, they just happen to have. I mean, do I know? Oh, sunset support. imports. So they do boats, right? Imports, ports. The 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 sh- the broom was he described as uh, finery and someone who likes luxury, and you know I don't necessarily oh, associate like a that with a demon. Family. Like maybe Bull Butcher was using yeah. this broom for the time being. Uh, but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean this was his ship. Whoa! Hmm. He, he might just I mean, be be- just he might just be benefiting, right? Yeah, just for yeah, just for the hell of it, could I just roll underworld? Just uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, twenty eight. Uh, twenty eight. Um, yeah, you've heard the name. Um, you 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 might have heard people stealing from them before, but no. you don't think that you ever heard. Them doing them like being smugglers or something like right. that. That doesn't come across. Uh, yeah. Does Kezra also explain what this cloak does? Yes. This cloak is a uh, something a little special. It's a uh, something called the Cape of the Montbank, and uh, it allows you to teleport. But that's about the long and short of it. Well, I think we can all agree that one of my biggest problems is not being able to be in the right place at the right time. I would agree. 
<laughs> but g given that um, we've come across this in uh, unscrupulous means, does that bother you at all, no. champion of Iomade? <laughs> We found Wait, this on a slaver's <laughs> ship. This does not concern me in any way. The could ship was stolen. made. It could have been, and if we find the right people, then we can talk. But this could be a well, great I, boon I to us in the short. They're, they're literally in Cartago, just like, you know, a couple miles that way. Uh, then was that? maybe I can hold it for a couple miles that way. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna what are you do with that other cloak you got on? I think I can do uh, a bit of a trick with laytering. <laughs> I don't think don't mechanically it. it works that way. <laughs> it's just, he just ties it around his waist. <laughs> what? He's it's wears, a sash. He just wears it as a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the diaper of the Monta, Monta, Monta Bank. <laughs> the diaper of the Monta Bank. Uh, no, uh, Benson is going to wear the family cloak over the cape. And I have a cool little thing that could happen whenever he uses it. I'll say that Kezra doesn't huh? need it because he already has a wand of Dimension Door. You have a wand of yeah. dimension door? Yeah, I used, yeah. It. I used it earlier. Yeah. No, oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah, he used it on the cliff. I forgot about that. Yeah. An elf doesn't have an interest for the cape, honestly. Hmm. So, like, the so yeah. one <laughs> thing that keeps Benson, like, uh, under S tier is movement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, can Benson but, hold on to this for a bit? Yeah, well, I suppose I already have my cloak. How do you look in green? This cloak is very... <laughs> Damn What color is... Yeah, what color is Benson's eyes? I don't know if it's I ever dark asked. Green. Dark green. Oh, well, shoot. Well, Benson shoot. and Lionel both have deep green eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it is a, it is a green... Uh, well, it's a bright green cape, but still. Yeah. Deep green it, eyes. You it just lightens your them. eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Well, he, he tosses it's it like down. Emeralds. Benson will grab it and put it in his bag, and uh, we're going to figure out how that mechanically will work later, <laughs> after I get to talk to Jake. <laughs> 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 so you guys uh, finish rescuing all of the E, uh, all of the people in Manacles, um, and they... Uh, they, they they thank you and praise you and uh, praise Melania, praise everybody, praise all of you. Um, and uh, they 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 sort of stay down here in the in the cargo hold because they're just like you know we don't know if the town's safe and stuff mm. like that. Um, one of the men, uh, one of the uh, one of the civilians actually approaches you, um, and uh, he walks up to you and. Uh, he's a uh, human male. Uh, looks to be about seventy years old. Um, you said seventy. He's seventy years oh, old. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, I'll take anybody. I don't care. No, no. Um, yeah. uh, he's played by uh, Sylvester Stallone, <laughs> the old old badass, old badass guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, comes up and he is his na- name's Rollis Rollis Nenderland. It's, uh, it's good. It's good to meet you. You guys are guys put up a good fight. Listen, I. I put I put my life of fighting for Cheliax behind me many years ago, but uh, I, I have all my old gear in my in my house. If you if you think it'll help, what do you want the gear yourself? Do what? Go ahead, Tim. No, what were you saying, Benson? Did you want the gear for yourself? No, 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 no. You 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 take it. Uh, my, uh, I my. I couldn't help you guys. You guys are strong and fit, and I'm I'm young. I still got it in me, but uh, I I'd rather stay here and protect these people if I can. I'm always so, willing to help a fellow uh, Chell as he puts his hand up for like a <laughs> strong mm-hmm. handshake. Um, Wait, uh, so he gives Benson you from he gives Chelyax? you direct- Yeah, yeah. How did I not know this? He well, you're you're from uh, Eladir. That's a this- which is. Uh, Eladir, can Targo is technically is... Eladir now? No, 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 no. Sorry, hold on. We are talking uh, about... We are talking about Benson. Benson was yeah, from no. the rich part of Chiliax, so... <laughs> um, Kezra... Well, uh, Kezra wants to look, walk up onto the top deck and look into town and see if we can... If I can see or hear or kind of suss anything out. Yeah, like, within, like, the time that's been going on, he's, Elf's been kind of, like, 
looking through what food is salvageable and kind of like bringing it up. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me let me let me clarify. Uh, so Eladir is in Isger or Isger, and yeah. uh, Isger or Isger is in old is the most eastern country in Old Chelyax. In so, yes. Old Chelyax. In Old Chelyax, okay. yeah. So anyway. Uh, so what were the uh, oh let me let me t- tell you what what he tells you too uh, so he gives you directions to his shed and it's actually on the outskirts of town hmm. um, uh, he tells you that there is a are you ready for this are you ready for this an adamantine battle axe what, what? okay <laughs> the fuck <laughs> uh, and a plus one resilient breastplate wow. Uh, he, t- he 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 tells you that uh, I, I keep them safe, secured, locked up under some old rusted tools that I don't really get to use anymore either. I Damn. can we use those? Yes, battle axe. He, yes, he's, he's easily. Yeah, yeah. B- battle axe is a one-handed weapon, so yeah. Okay. Well, ironically enough, I already have plus one resilient full plate. Oh, do you? I do. <laughs> okay. Well, so does Benson. <laughs> yeah, and for me, it doesn't make any. Sense. No, we could so. we could well, we after, could extract the runes. The runes, though. I was gonna say extract yeah, the runes. Yeah, well, money, when Tim's or current character dies, we can get to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Which means you can't get new armor, <laughs> <laughs> and you and you have to make somebody who can use it. Um, yeah, so Grimshaw gives him like a incredibly good valuable clasps stuff. clasps him on the on the shoulder and is like, "We'll make sure they are put to good use, and we'll see battle once again." Um, and it, Grimshaw has actually been collecting some of the weapons from the the now dead captors, and is handing them out to those who look the fit, the most fit. And is like, when we clear out the town, we'll come back for you all and give you a signal that it's safe. If we don't come back, take this ship and find a safe port. <laughs> they they look at you. They're like, what? I- we're just small fishermen. I, exactly. I, well, you know I, how to travel the seas. A fisherman is not made by calm waters. You know these waters better than anyone. And, and Benson just looks back because I don't think they, they know how to sail a galleon. <laughs> <laughs> they, they look around and then they go, I I guess we're sailors now. <laughs> yeah, we're sailors now. <laughs> Heck Yeah. <laughs> Good job. We're privateers. Privateers. <laughs> we're pirates now. Wait. No. All of a sudden, Wait a one guy goes up in the back. We're slavers now. And you're like, oh shit! No, stop that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kill him. Uh, okay. So, uh, just so you all know, that is a plus one adamantine battle axe. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it just said it just said regular adamantine. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't say plus one, but it, it, adamantine might might come with a plus one on it. So. Well, whatever. An adamantine uh, weapon treats any object that they hit as if it had half as much hardness as usual. Oh my Whoa. god! Yeah, it's awesome, man. Yeah, it, it is the it is the disrespect your surroundings yeah, weapon. Yeah, Benson Grimshaw need this weapon. Yeah, yeah adamantine <laughs> adamantine weapons have a shiny that. black appearance and cut through lesser oh, items yeah. with ease. They treat any object they hit. As, as if it had half as much hardness as usual, unless the object's hardness is greater than that of the adamantine weapon. Which, which mm, it's not. <laughs> which the hardness on adamantine no. is... There's 1,000. Lots. Uh, adamantine, it's over 9,000. <laughs> adamantine... Oh my god. Adamantine hardness, the standard grade, which I'm assuming this is it, is 28. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. No, or no, no, no. Uh, item... Yep. Oh, no, sorry, it's 14. For it. That's a that's uh, an adamantine. That's, that's, an, ad, I mean, that's an adamantine structure. Adamantine items are mm. uh, fourteen. Yeah. Phew. Yeah. That's that's so, sick. Yeah. Fifty six hit so points. You guys can get that points. when you. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys can get that when you go into town. Um, as the as the, the 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 thunder and lightning seem to go away, but the rain is still pouring down on you guys, and. Everything gets really, really quiet, and you realize now what what Vimir was kind of noticing, as it's just dead silent in town. You guys are sort of like listening out, listening to hear any like bit of combat or any 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 uh, any disturbances or something like that, and it's just completely dead silent 
besides the rain and the water. And all of a sudden you hear, No! No! God, please! No! I'll see you guys next time. Jeez. Spooky. Oh, man. Well, ah! This fight is not ending. Oh, uh, <laughs> definitely not. Let's... Hey, it's Timmy from the DPS. Are you a dice-obsessed goblin who also loves small biz? Looking to level up your dice game? Check out Greenleaf Geek. They offer an array of dice, including the artisanal handmade holo-galactic set. It's star-studded, literally. Use offer code DRAGONPUNCHSQUAD at checkout to save 10% off. And while you're there, you can opt to plant a tree, and every dollar given is matched by Greenleaf Geek. Save your party from certain doom, as well as our planet. That's Dragon Punch Squad, all caps, at checkout for 10% off. And we'll see you in the next episode.